So, predictions. First up, we have Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan. The Liv Morgan Revenge Tour is in full effect. And Liv Morgan seeks to get her title back that she unceremoniously lost due to injury that she won at WrestleMania. Dominic Mysterio will be hanging above the arena in a shark cage. Who do you say will win this? I think uh, Useless Liv wins. That's the that's the way I'm going to. Like, I thought Rhea Ripley was going to get her title back like as soon as she got back. But at this point, uh, probably to your disliking, <laughs> I would say Liv Morgan and Dom. This There's more juice to be squeezed there. So I think they keep it going. We might be able to make it to like, if I had to guess, she probably makes it to like Saturday night main event. And then loses the title. Not saying that there will be a match there, but I she can she... make it to War Games. Yeah, or hell, I don't even... know what order they're in, but or even Crown Jewel. Oh man, I don't want to see that at Crown Jewel. Liv Morgan with like full clothes. <laughs> Sign me out. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you gotta like actually watch her. Athleticism and wrestling. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, Rhea Ripley. I think we're both on board. Oh, by the way, these predictions are usually pretty accurate, so take it to the bank. I forgot to say that. Next up, we have Bailey versus Nia Jax. Bailey just beat Naomi to become the number one contender against the person that beat her for the title. So effectively, this is her rematch. Why she just didn't get a rematch clause? That's here or there. But Nia Jax versus Bailey, and let's also remember that Tiffany Stratton is Mrs. Money in the Bank, and she gave Nia Jax a look. But who say you as the winner? Well, the only thing I know for certain is Bailey is not going to win the title. The only thing I'm not clear, the only thing I'm iffy on is if Jax just, if Stratton helps Jax win, or if Stratton cashes in on Jax. Yeah, they definitely kind of teased the cash in, especially oh. with the look. Yeah, but are they gonna are they gonna, are they gonna milk it? Yeah, I think they hold off on it. I don't yeah. think they I don't think they do it yet. I don't know what they're waiting for, but yeah, I think we've got to build it a little bit more. They're trying to. I guess Stratton is a baby face, sympathetic baby face. She's, she's turning into one. She just got her throat snatched. Yeah, and she's just getting <laughs> bullied by Nia Jax. Yeah. So she's going to overcome that, but we still got to, I guess there's more there before we get to that point. Well, I think, yeah, I think Jax wins then. Or loses by DQ. Bailey's not walking away with the title. I think Jax, yeah, gets the pin. And I think Stratton helps. Yeah, Finn Balor versus Damon Priest. I know how I said it, and I did it on purpose. Mm. Finn Balor. Uh, well, first of all, I would say this match is kind of rushed and forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> so those, yes. those are those two things. There's seemingly been no build. Now, I know what you're going to say, uh, and that being people in the comments, that there's been so much build for this match. But not really between the two. It's just been like Judgment Day versus the Terra Twins. Well, Priest so, has been trying to get his hands on Balor, and that hasn't happened until until now at Bad Blood. Yeah, and I thought they were going to work their way through uh, the other members, but I guess we're just skipping straight to the top. Oh, well, yeah. I guess there was only just JD McDonough left. Anyway, who do you think got this? Got the win here? Um, I think Priest wins because I said Liv Morgan was going to win. So Judgment Day can't win two matches, can they? I'm also going to go Damian Priest here because of that. I don't think if we're, if Rear is going to lose, then yeah, one of them has to win so that it saves face with the group a little bit. So you can keep the story going if it's going to keep going. If Ripley wins, then that means Balor's going to win. 
Yeah, it'll be the other way around, but I just don't see I don't know. I see the story. Liv needs the title more for the story than anything. And this is like just a match. <laughs> I also kind of see the I expect both matches to have a whole bunch of shenanigans, but I see more more emphasis on the uh, the interference on the the title match. Next up. Oh, I was like, did you miss one? <laughs> no, you, you got it right. Next up, we got the biggest box office draw, their words, and the person with the most important title in the company versus the new bloodline making up of Jacob Fatu and Solo Sokoa. Does Roman Reigns get his revenge on the bloodline um, with the help of the champion? Or does the bloodline... I was going to say continue to show their dominance, but yeah, they haven't really... Does the blood... Does Jacob Fatu continue to show his dominance? Does Jacob Fatu remain unpinned? Does Jacob Fatu remain undefeated? Well, Jacob Fatu will definitely remain unpinned. Okay. Um, but who do you got winning the match? It's got to be Roman and Cody. Because this is Roman's first match back. First match back since WrestleMania. I mean, the Tongans will interfere. I'm trying to think, like... Cody could fuck over Roman, maybe. Roman wouldn't fuck over Cody. Unless he was joining the bloodline. Which, that'd be a twist. I thought we could do a twist of Roman joining the bloodline. That's what I just like said. A, oh, I thought you said Cody. <laughs> no. Well, that'd be a twist too, shit. I'm part of the bloodline now. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Solo, I acknowledge you. What? <laughs> just yeah, have everybody look confused. Yeah, just make no sense of it at all. <laughs> Like, what is this, WCW? <laughs> but yeah, they could do, like, Roman joins the bloodline, they beat the shit out of Cody, and it was just, like, all a ruse. I don't know why uh, Roman Reigns... He, they did take out the... Uh, the wise man. So there's that part of it. But I don't know why... Outside of that, it it could it could make sense that Roman joins back in the bloodline. Maybe this was the plan all along because he's coming back for the title. Well, Roman lost the title at WrestleMania, and remember Solo's words were that you know, the bloodline doesn't tolerate losers. So because oh, Roman, yeah, don't worry about Solo. <laughs> well, he took I mean... out the wise man. He's got to go. Well, hold on. <laughs> so that um, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Solo said the bloodline doesn't tolerate losers. Oh yeah, yeah. So he banished Roman, or at least that makes him the new tribal chief because Roman f wasn't able to fulfill his duties as tribal chief. But he's still part of the bloodline because they're all family. So Roman acknowledges Solo. Yeah. Why not? Roman's going to be gone in a couple of months anyway. That's true. I don't know. I just took it the other way. Like, Roman, this is Roman's plan all along. Oh, he's still Solo. a tribal chief? Yeah, he's still the tribal chief. Solo has to go. Because he did take out the wise man. Or that was part of the plan. Well, yeah. Taking out the wise man makes sense because Roman lost. So... Either it's because Roman failed at his duties as tribal chief or the wise man is no longer the wise man because Roman can't trust his advice anymore because he lost. True. And the moment Roman lost to Cody, Haman became expendable. 
Yeah, especially says because he doesn't have his title anymore. So it would make sense there. So Roman Reigns could join the bloodline. We've got the new bloodline. That was the master plan. They beat down Cody. But saying all that, I am actually <laughs> I'm actually without the turn saying bloodline wins. Oh, okay. I think uh now here's my hang up because who's taking the pin? Because Roman he took the pin at WrestleMania. He's back in his first match since then. Is he gonna take another pin? Cody uh, took the pin um when he and he wrestled Fatu and Solo at whatever pay per view it was. Who the fuck did he team with? Was it Orton? Sorry, it was man. a it was a six man tag match at Money in the Bank. It was Tama Tonga, Jacob Fatu, and Solo versus Cody Owens and Orton. Cody got Ooh, the pin. Ooh wee. So yeah, maybe Solo. I know Solo's getting the pin, mm -hmm. but I don't know who it's against. So Jacob Fatu is gonna. Basically, what you saw on SmackDown, Jacob Fatu is going to do the dirty work, and then Solo is going to take the pin or get the pin. And it, but yeah, that I'll makes sense. Maybe maybe Cody's going to take the pin. Why not? And then this is all going to lead to the setup for War Games. Although, if Roman takes the pin from Solo, that would be a huge fucking moment. It would. It because if he takes the pin, it's going to be because it's not going to be because Solo beat him fair and square. So Roman won't lose any credibility. That's true. But, you know, it is Roman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it'd be one of them symbolic pins. It'd be like the Tongans, <laughs> Tongans hit Roman in the back of the head with a brick or something. And then Ro uh, Solo pins him and acts like he did it. And then, yeah, this all is going to lead into the war games. But there you have that. And now, the main event. 20 years in the making. Well, the, that being the, the show. 20 years in the making. The feud, 10 months in the making. But yeah, our main event. 10 months in the making. One dog, one wife, one bracelets a lot of blood a lot of beatdowns a lot of injuries cm punk versus drew mcintyre hell <laughs> in a cell <laughs> <laughs> who do you see walking out of the demonic structure that is hell in the cell it almost have to be punk wouldn't it Yes, that's who I'm. I'm going with. Uh, just Although because, I wouldn't be surprised if McIntyre won. Well, I'm saying Punk, uh, just because you know they teased the the Gunther thing. So okay, that's kind of a tease for I guess where they're going next. Well, he can move on to Gunther if he loses. As a loser, though. That's what Sammy did. Well, actually. There might be some time off for both of them after this. And then he comes back and does yeah. Gunther. When Sammy lost uh, two IC title matches and then immediately challenged Gunther. That's why I'm so pissed off about that. Not only are they fucking going backwards on, on Gunther's feuds, but Sammy fucking lost his way into a title match. Very old school Vince. And they have the audacity... Match. To have these segments on Raw and SmackDown where they go, well, you got to work your way back up. I can't get, keep giving you title matches. Yeah, like they did with Jey Uso. Yeah. Well, they didn't do it, but, you know, yeah. like Braun Bricker said they were going to do. Well, I mean, you can work your way back up after you lose. But we're both on the punk train. So I guess outside of we only have one difference, and that would be the bloodline and... Cody and Roman. Yeah. But those are your predictions for Bad Blood. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And let us know your predictions.